Hello, people. Quick haul. Very quick haul. In prompt, impromptu haul. Don't mind my son. That's him making all that noise. But we're in my um, youngest daughter's in my bonus child's room. Just recording a couple things we picked up for her at Walmart. She's going out of town um, for a Girl Scout trip to bright and early tomorrow morning. Today is Tuesday the 20th. June, Tuesday the 20th, and they're leaving very early. So, real quick, she needed pajamas. She had pajamas. The only ones that still fit were um, more warmer weather pajamas. And the pieces that weren't warmer weather pajamas they uh, that did fit, they were mismatched. And I can't stand it. And I'm definitely not having her going out of town like that. So, we real quick grabbed some pajamas. I went into Walmart. We were on a mission quickly, and I told her, and on a budget, so I told her to try to find some pajamas that she liked under $10 a piece. And that's exactly what she did. So, because I have three kids, BT dubs. And just paying more than $10 per set of pajamas for three children at a, alone, not even counting me, I would like sometimes to have pajamas on. Very sometimes. <laughs> not even counting me. That could be expensive. So, the goal was stop at some ten under ten dollars a piece. Started with these little mermaid pajamas shorts. I got them a size too big because I want her to be able to wear them for at least two years, if not more. And these sets in Walmart were this one was seven eighty seven. We got this set. It's shorts and a shirt as well. Girly, what does it say? Believe in yourself. So this is super cute. I think this one was $7.87. Y'all, I'm so sad I did not show y'all the before of her closet so I could show you the after while we're in her room. Yep, $7.87. She normally wears a 10-12. I, like I said, I got her extra size up because I want these to last. And pajamas always shrink. And yeah, so got her size up. Probably if they had anything bigger, I might have got her two sizes up, maybe. Got her this pajama gown. I think this was $7.87. I think it was a little bit less, though. Let's see. Yeah. So, these little gowns were only $4.92. Still pajamas, and it's a gown. It's appropriate. Um, it's comfortable. Not too hot. Not too cold. She really could wear this year-round if she wanted, but obviously, it's made for summer. Really, really cute. This looks like a really big dress. I'm not holding it in the aerial view because of the shadow sun. But she loves emojis and blue. You notice blue is her jam. It used to be pink, but now it's blue for the past few years now. And popsicles, ice cream, cupcakes, sunglasses, palm trees, everything summer. This one I love. She loved it too, but I was just like, oh, you got to have it. I actually had to get this at a different Walmart than I got the rest of these. Um, the one that I got the rest of these from did not have this one in her size. So we were pretty sad, but we had to go to Walmart and exchange some shorts that we got from the other Walmart in my area um, that were too, I don't know if they were too little or too big. I think too little. And I just didn't like the way they looked on her in general. And we ended up finding this in her size. We were so excited. She found it first. Um, these are the shorts that I exchanged for a different pair previously. Um, just some little, is it chambray? Chambray? Chambray shorts. Uh, they have tiny bits of pink stitching. Yeah, tiny bits of pink stitching, but very basic. Um, this is for out of town specific, so I want her to be comfortable um, and walking and the fit. I think they got a faux pocket on the back. Do they? Yes. They, no, it's a real pocket. They have one real pocket on the back, which I love. Other shorts didn't have any pockets at all. They just kind of looked. I don't know. They were weird. Anyway, so I got these in a seven. No, I mean a ten. Ten twelve. And they were yep ten twelve, and they were four eighty eight. Fitter, wonderful. I love it. We also got these shorts, Bermudas, in white. I love white, and I've never been afraid to put white on my children. Um, I've never been afraid to wear white. It can be frustrating. It can be a little bit stressful, depending on what you're doing. But I've never been afraid to wear white. 
I've never been afraid to put it on my kids. I don't care what age they were, how young, little. I've been putting white, sometimes all white, on my kids since they were babies. I've just never been scared of it, and I'm never going to be. So I love for them to have um, a basic black pair of bottoms, basic black pair, white pair of bottoms, whether skirts, shorts, pants. I try to anyway. But I saw these, and I loved them. I thought they were really, really cute. I thought they would go really cute with any color um, t-shirt that they may wear that day. Um, they have specific Girl Scout t-shirts in specific colors that they wear in on specific days. Uh, so when it came to her shorts, I wanted to get all the cute with the little ruffles on the bottom and this and this and that. But I just couldn't because I was trying to keep it, you know, even kill. Honestly, I don't, you never know what shirt she might, what short she might pick to go with what shirt. When I pack her stuff, I will try to show y'all. But I pack it to where she understands this goes with this, this goes with this. But obviously, she can still make her own choices. And, um... She isn't the most organized person. So, yeah. I got these in a 12. Got these in a 12. Glad I didn't get those other shorts at the Walmart. Um, I got these at the same location as I got the majority of the pajamas. The watermelon pajamas and these shorts were the only thing I did not get from the same Walmart. Only because these were in exchange for shorts from the other one. Um, and then, like I said, they didn't have her size in this at the other Walmart. So, Cruz, cut it out, please. I just need a couple minutes. Anywho, um, these Bermudas, um, they're kind of like some Chico. I think you call them like Chico Bermudas. They have pockets on the front, real pockets on the front. Um, a faux little pocket, pocket stitch on the back. Sorry, my son was being rude. Oh, I don't think I told you that gown too. The watermelon gown is for it was four ninety two, just like this other gown. Anyway, um, but these were six ninety six. Size twelve. These Bermuda shorts, faded glory as well. I think these were six ninety something. Yep, six ninety six. Size twelve. They did not come from Walmart.com, though that says Walmart.com. I promise I got it at the store. Just basic denim Bermuda shorts. As I said, I wanted to keep it basic, especially for this trip. And she, in her spring clothes, she could use some basic bottoms because in her spring clothes, she pretty much has rompers and dresses. Um, oh, yeah, these also have the adjustable waist. I haven't adjusted them completely for her yet. And then sometimes... I don't even, her body's so different, I don't even have to adjust them the same on each side. It's weird. But we figure it out. We wear belts. Um, so, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Tootie. I was saying something else before that, though. I found him this little shirt. I found him a bunch of shirts, but I was like, Dominique, you do not need to spend all this money. Do not do it. But I found him these shirts. Uh, I like the Grittimals for him. Not because they're just like such an awesome brand and just like the super duper up most of the top quality, but because I literally have to throw something of my son's clothing wise, it could be pretty much brand new. Um, I have to. What are you doing? He's crazy. I have to throw something away like once a week. So whether he stained it so ridiculously bad, um, usually just stains. So he plays. He's a boy. He's like the definition of the ultimate Tom boy boy. I don't even know if it's a Tom boy if it's already a boy. But he's a rough one. Um, so I don't spend too much money on his clothes. I wouldn't even if he wasn't a rough one because he's still a, a child, a very small one, a baby. He's going to grow and not grow and grow all of a sudden. And I just don't have time 
you know, to be dealing with rebuying clothes, just like with baby girl. I don't have time to keep rebuying clothes, getting stuff that fits just right. Just right. No, I'm not doing that. Um, so I have been getting him two tea. I said that in his other haul, I think, from H and M, his mini haul. A two T in the majority of or all of his spring and summer things um, and things that I, I know can be worn year round. Uh, I pretty much am getting into two T. Um, I eat this. And then the more winter, more fall, more winter, I get them into three T. But things that I want him to wear now and moving forward, essentially, I'm just getting into two T. So Grenimals, back to that. I don't just love the brand, but it's just. They lately do have this season so far. The last two seasons. Um, they've had a decent uh, line when it comes to cuteness and coolness and variety and such. Um, and for the price, $3.88, I feel like you can't really beat it. This is a nice... Um, the nice quality shirt, t-shirt. It's not super, super thin. It's not super cheap. Um, I don't experience a lot of rip. I don't experience, experience any ripping and tearing with Grenimals. However, Carter's, um, I always had that. I've always had that issue. Carter's, um, I'm sure I could change, could have changed maybe the washing adjustments, but I don't have time for that either. I pretty much want to be able to wash and dry on my same settings the majority of my laundry. And if I can't, I don't have time to sit there and change it. I barely have time to get it in the washer and the dryer. Um, so yeah. It's good quality, but my heart doesn't break if I have to throw it away after he only wore it maybe once or twice.